Okay, so we're ready to put the sails on. And I want to start at the back. There's a couple of things I did to the ship that I want to show you guys or give you an update on. First one being, we painted the anchor. Hopefully you guys can see that. Well, I didn't paint it. We actually used the same stain as we did for the ship. And that would be, I like the Midwax, the wood finish, and this is the espresso. So this is all set. So all we got to do is when that's dry, we'll put it on to the ship for the final time. And when it comes to the ship, <clears throat> really the only thing we got left to do is put the sails. I also want to point out, I did take the masts down a little bit just because um, we don't have the amount of sails to go all the way up to the top. For what we do have, um, I figured it'd be a little more proportionate to the model and it'll look better with the... Uh, with what we got. So I trimmed the, the masts down just a little bit. I had trimmed the um, the bowsprit down a little bit as well. So I think it looks a little bit more in scale. Um, and it'll really, really start to come together when the sails are on. So what I wanna do is we're gonna start with the back end of the ship. And according to the instructions, you see you can have, you see the cross beams on the, the foremast. Well, there's really none on the back, with the exception of the one on the bottom. So following the instructions, we got the one on the bottom, but there's none over there. Well, this sail is going to go like this. And according to the instructions, the top sail would just anchor to the bottom sail, and I just don't like that idea. So what I want to do is I want to put a beam that we're gonna take and we're actually gonna to glue to the back so we can anchor the top of this sail and I think it's this one in the bottom of this sail. I think it would look a little bit better. So this is gonna go just about right here. So what I wanna do is we're gonna put this just under the line over here and I angled it so it will be angling up and I want to show you guys I want to do something a little more um, fast setting than the uh, the Instacure we're going to use a little bit of the um, the UV glue so this this will be the first time that I use this so I'm going to put a little bit just like that and again, this won't dry or cure until the UV light is used. So I want to make sure that this is angled downward. And it's going to go just about right there. So I want to put it just like that. Again, this wasn't in the instructions. I just think it looks a little bit better. Or I feel a little bit better to have a, a beam over there. Okay. So that's glued into place. So now what we can do is we're going to actually put the sail on. And you can see it's going to go just like that. <clears throat> so... I think I'll put the corners on first. So we're going to take our thread with the needle. All right. And this is going to go underneath. And I want to bring little loops now that are going to go through it. Now, when it comes to the top sail, I do believe this is the one, because this one's larger than this one. Um, 
I think this one's going to go here. And again, it's got to be looped more than once. Because if not, it'll come undone. And I don't want that. There. Now we can... And I know it seems like the video has been threading the needle. Alright. So now we're going to put... We're going to tie this up to the top. And this is going to go right up over there. So what I want to do is we're going to put the top of the sail. And we're going to bring it up over there, but we're going to make a loop. And we're going to tie it around. And then before, before I cut the rigging, I just want to put a drop of the glue just to keep everything in place. this sail to the rigging mast that we put up. Let's see if I can do this. So I want to go back and we're going to do the, um, the back, I just want to anchor it to the bottom so we can think about looping it all the way through. You guys can see the little bit of progress we're making. Again, I am not a model ship maker, and the real ship makers, <laughs> the Oakry guys, must be getting a really, really entertaining laugh out of this. Um, but this is my first one trying to practice, um, <laughs> and I know it leaves much to be desired. All right, when it comes to the one in the middle, Again, the instructions are a little vague. You can see there's nothing on top really to support it. Or on the bottom. You can see how it's wrapped around the mast, how it's kind of tied like that. We'll take the longer piece for the bottom. So that would mean this one would be for the top part. So when it comes to the bottom, it should be end up going right about So 
so we'll put it right about there. That looks good. This UV glue is really cool. All right, <clears throat> so we're gonna do the same thing with the one for the top of the sail. So right there, and it's gonna be angled slightly up. Let's put this on. Again, <laughs> be kind. Um, what I'm going to do is, when we, after I put all the sails on, we're going to go back and we're going to tie up all the loose ends and cut off all the extra. But in the meantime, I just want to get everything situated. So we have, let's see, three more to go. And I think we're going to do the lowest one first let's see which one that would be these are the long ones these are going to go on forward and let's see looks like this one will go like this all right so we're gonna put this one on this a few times so we'll cut this one that will secure it and again that piece that's coming out we're gonna leave that for now we're gonna let the glue dry all right and now I think we can move on to the front part well that's gonna come down uh, to the bowsprit so we got to put more thread onto the needle. Okay. So now we got we're going to tie this off. And that's going to go around that. Do we have enough thread? I hope you don't have to re-thread a needle. So don't look now, but as of right now, we got the last sail to put on. And let's see, we got some extra. All right, that's gonna go like that. All right, <clears throat> so the end of it now, it's gonna go out and around that, so we gotta. All right, let's think about trimming off the extra because it just looks sloppy. So this can go. Uh, let's see, this one. This one can go. What about this? All right, you know what? This one is not necessary. We can cut this one. We can cut this. All right. So what I want to do now 
you can see we have the sails on and I think what I want to do is I want to actually run some finish rigging around the ship and I think this will be easier well it should be easier and see we put the cross beam across so we didn't even end up using it none of them on the instructions there just wasn't the sale for it in the listing they had everything um, I think they had 10 sales but um, in this we only had nine uh, one two three four five we only have seven because we only really had enough material to make seven all right so this is let's tie this in a knot and we're gonna bring this up and around all right so this bring this up on the top like so I'm gonna wrap it around so we're gonna go around like that and I want to come down to this way it can um, act to help some of the rat lines and we can come around and I need to loop it again. There. And we're going to put a little bit of super glue on all the areas just to kind of reinforce it. There. So that is the last of the rigging. And we have the sails on. I think the last thing we can do is we need to put the anchor on. But let me show you guys. The ship. And lastly, we've got the anchor. And this is going to go right over here. Um, I think we're going to tie it in a knot right here. We'll loop it through one more time, and then we'll be done. There. This can go up over here like that. We'll keep it so we can bring it on and put it off. And that is it. That's it. We are finished. We can cut the line for the anchor. And I'll put just a little bit more of the glue and we're finished. So I'm going to do a video wrapping up the, um, the build series. But that's it. So my friends, I hope you enjoyed the build series on this little Halco ship, the 1100 scale. It's been quite the journey. Um, I have no idea what I'm doing, so this was like a practice ship. So my friends, I'll be doing a wrap-up video to the series very soon. Until then, thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you guys soon.